hard drives. It's time to install my secondary hard drives. I got two two terabyte drives. I want to make a redundant array with them. The motherboard is supposed to support RAID by itself. One of the difficulties I'm starting to have is this area right here where all the power cables and data cables are and they need to get to where they need to go. There's not much space. Screws are too small. I need big screws to go in here. It's got to be one of these. One of these. These. Let's first drive is in. Hard drives are in the thingy, so now I need to somehow find a way to get the cords connected to them. I might need to disconnect the power thingy from here, and then maybe I'll use one of those upside down power thingies for this drive that's already in there. Come see. These cables are being pinched between these new hard drives over here and the graphics card here. Here's the top of the graphics card, which about lines up with the bottom of the lower hard drive. I'll try to get some of these power cables out the way. This is just for fans. And then these out this hole in the side. Now, it might just not be possible. This isn't in all the way. And the hard drive is now touching the graphics card. So that's no good. Let me see if I can move it down a slot and if that helps. Bruno, this graphics card is too big. Too big? It's too big. Too big? Why is it too big? Somebody must have thought it was necessary. Me. I'm going to try moving this one down here. Maybe because of the slight bevel on the bottom of the graphics card, the hard drive can fit right there. kind of fitting except for this power cable that needs to go between the two hard drives which is getting pinched. Let me squiggle over this side.
And because the graphics card blocks a PCI slot right under it, I want to see if a riser cable can fit underneath the graphics card fan. Like the answer is no. The fan for the graphics card blocks the next PCI slot and there's nothing you can do to get it back. I still don't get the great appeal of being able to see the inside of the computer all the time. Are those normal hard drive sounds? Or is that failing hard drive sounds? My first system hard drive isn't doing that, but both of the new ones are. Let's do hard drives one more time. The first hard drive I got that I used for the system drive is this Hitachi DeskStar one terabyte drive, and it's been working just fine. So when I got more drives to use as storage, I got the same brand, same model, except two terabytes, and it's also a larger cache, but that was actually an error by Amazon. But those drives that I have set up in Arrayed 1 are giving me trouble chirp clicking. And while I'm video editing and trying to play back the video, it keeps chirp clicking, and then the video stops playing, and it's really annoying. So now I've gotten a different brand, Seagate Barracuda. And let's see if that works better. You can't quite see, but this motherboard can connect eight SATA devices, but six of them are SATA 2 and two are SATA 3. It looks like only the SATA 2 is eligible for the RAID, so I've been connecting everything to the SATA 2. But I'll have five hard drives now and two optical drives. So I'm going to have to bump something to SATA 3. And oh, that's such a mess of wires. So right there, you can see where all the SATA cables are connecting. Now I've disconnected all the SATA cables, except for the two optical drives, because now I'm going to do some rearranging over here. With care, I handle. Look at how the different models have different colors. I don't know if I ever really explained the power things that were upside down. The ones that come with the power supply are upside down for me because the power supply is expecting to be at the top and coming down. But this case has the power supply at the bottom, and so that's why they were upside down. But I'm going to try to use them on these bottom three hard drives. Like so. Bottom hard drives are in. Three hard drives right there, full of wires again. These two will go to the remaining two drives. I think I did it. Tune in next time for something. Hellbolt got me to look at this memory card reader panel thing again. I think I had it upside down. So now you see this is the screw that's attached to the adapter frame. And now this can hold the front panel thing. And before there, the holes weren't lined up. It's time for grand finale. The second pair of hard drives didn't do any better, they're less noisy, but they were just as slow, so it has nothing to do with the brand, but it looks like it might have to do with the cache size. To fix it, I had to go to the Intel Rapid Storage Technology, which is what you use to set up the RAID. Notice over here on the storage system view, you can select the disk, the volume, or the array. On the volume, you can go over here to advanced, and this right back cache, if you go to help, it just tells you that this makes it everything a lot faster. The only risk is that if the power goes out, you'll lose data. But it turns out that this was the problem I was having. I had to disable this. It gives you one last warning. This is going to make everything work worse. But I said yes to that anyway, and that's made everything work so much better, and now it's good. The end.